Okay. Put that in there. How much? Would you turn the recorder on? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh shit. Keep going. Okay. It's not gonna be long enough. Hold on. It's not long enough. It'll be long enough to put it right here then. I don't want it right here because the freaking refrigerator is gonna come right here. Oh. Why is it more over here? Is that other piece longer? No, the other piece is shorter. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what is this? What is this wire? That is 12 too. Can we use it? Yes. Here we are looking around for fucking wire in this piece right here. Well, that's fascinating. There we go. That's the stuff. Just got to drill another hole. box stuff and it looks all like a maze of shit but you know explain that day yes we had to move some wires around and change a few things so we have to fix it back up the way it should be so i gotta find a, my little hammer it's always a joy to look for stuff and not be able to find it i just use the big hammer Put the wire on hit it as hard and damage it. Okay, so this is the wire that's going to go over to our switch. Switch. This one's going to be the light.
I just wonder if you could use a portable heat shield. Okay, so first we'll get all our ground layers together here. That, find out where that wiring is over there, babe. I can't because, of course, there's lights right there. Make sure all four are even here on the end. Guess I changed the lights. I'm going to change the lights because I'm going to have a door there. Station view at the top here. Got the other one in here. Can you station view at the top? Okay, so they're all even on the end here. See all three wires even on the end there? They're all wire nut on. Why not? I'll make sure insulation goes into that bottom um, cap there. I hold the tail so the wires all stay even inside the wire nut. Switch goes to the black and it goes to the light. Yellow wire cap on it. Make sure 
reduce those you can see the bottom of the wire nut. Do you have your screw gun with the Phillips bit? That's right there next to you, Dave. Okay, good. To your left on the top of the stand. Okay. And then the white wires will put this together and we'll make a tail to go to our outlet and the white coming back from the right. Insulation even at the bottom here. Fuck! Don't I have to do all that all over again? Make sure you don't lose those bolt on screws. Mm -hmm. So this was the outlet we had in the wall with the old work box. We took it out. If we have to move this outlet over a little bit because it's in the way of something.
So we'll close the screws, you're not going to use. Come out of the way. Going a little shorter. Turn on. Okay. Okay, you make your loop the direction of screw turns. The black goes on your brass screw, the narrow slot. The white goes on your silver screw, the wide slot. Can you get a portable heat shield for a wood stove? Okay, so now we can fold our wires into our box here. without any force. So down and up with our black and white. And across the bottom, zigzag with our ground white, down at the bottom here. And it's going to be down away from everything. Just the bottom end of the switch next. I'll finish it by hand so I don't stretch the whole thing out. Shut that off. It's on the box. Okay. Okay, so I'll put the box right here. I'm not going to nail it down all the way. Hmm. I'll leave some slack. Right whoa, whoa, here. wait, wait. That's wrong. That's going to be a plug. It's going to be a oh, double oh, box. Oh, this is the double box. And I don't have one. That's oh, that's that triple box. You can put a double outlet and switch in it. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't want because I'm going to have a plug over there. I don't want a double one. Just, just we said we we're going to cap it off. Just cap it off. I'm not. It's the last thing. Just put the wire in there for now. Okay, just to it. hold it in there. 
Well, give me an idea where I'm going to put it anyways. So, Dave, yeah. you're probably going to cut the wire. So don't, Dave, yeah. stop doing it. I don't want it done right now. We got it. We're going to probably cut the wire. Yeah. Concentrate on this. I want to okay. get this done. Okay, I just want to put a couple caps on the end of this one. I'm trying to circuit on it. Jesus. Man, you're going to have plenty of times to film the stupid thing. I'm not worried about it right yet. There. Put them two on there. Just cover that up for right now. Okay. So this is going to be a switch in the future with a double game box. <clears throat> yeah, just fold that all that up inside there. Stuff. Even pull the wire up through, too. All that excess stuff. Speaker wires and cable wires don't make it look neat. I mean, it looks horrible. And I yeah. should have never done that speaker wire bit because I've had nothing but problems with them. Yeah. Or maybe it was just because my speakers were... Turn this into a uh, junction box. Okay, this is really good. Okay, so we're going to turn this double outlet box into a... Junction box because they're putting a cabinet in here. I don't lose all these screws. I'm yeah, not. which you do normally. And they are. I should have just put them up there. Okay. Oh, look at that mess. Yeah. Okay, you can grab me a yellow wire nut. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you something. That that looks like like anybody watching this has got to be horrified to see all those wires. Yeah, because a lot of them are the speaker wires. Yeah, but all the wire other wires aren't. I mean, here. Okay. This is. The black feed wire going to a, a double switch wire. So we're going to connect these together. Dave, let me see that drill. drill okay. Take this thing off over here. Something was crawling inside there, like a mouse. I don't know. Okay. And we have our black one going to the one light, and our red one going to the other light, and we have to disconnect the white from our outlets. Okay, actually, we did have the wires come up through there at one time because the holes were already there. So this is ready now for a uh, double blank cover. <laughs> 